I'm actually blending in with the walls. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have another mood board video for you guys. I thought I'd film another one because I actually think that I have all new photos up this time. Sometimes we have a few that overlap from like the last video and that stick around because I like the photo so much. But I think we have a completely new mood board to show you today. So I'm really excited to get on with the video. Okay, so there's a few subjects that I want to talk about for this upcoming autumn. I will be talking about some spring, summer stuff as well. Well, less spring, more summer stuff as well. Um, because obviously it is still quite warm out. We're very, very lucky that we've had a lovely summer in the UK this year. Uh, but I do want to get talking about winter and autumn. Mainly autumn because it is coming up soon. We've got about maybe two months until it comes to us. So I'm quite excited in a way because I think I have used up all of my summer dresses to the max. Like there is not one more day that I could wear a summer dress right now because I'm kind of just over it. I'm not over the weather, but I'm just over dresses. <laughs> I really miss wearing jeans and I've actually got a pair on today because I just miss wearing jeans so much. But I know that this time in two months time, I will be saying that I want to be wearing summer dresses again. So it's gonna happen, but it's inevitable. Okay, so the first trend I wanted to talk about for the upcoming autumn season is cowboys and western themed clothing. Now, for a long, long time, this has been a bit of a comical theme. If you are dressing up as a cowboy, you're probably going to a fancy dress party. But actually for this autumn, it's a major, major trend. We saw the Dior show was absolutely stunning, completely Western themed, completely. It was absolutely gorgeous. I've spoken about this many, many times, but they're bringing the saddle bag back this year and it was actually launched yesterday, which would have been a week ago when you see this video. And honestly, I love that bag so much. It was originally designed by John Galliano in the year 2000 and I was six when that bag came out. And I desperately want one. I've been looking for a vintage one for the last year and a half. And now they have reissued it for this year. So that started the Western trend because, as you guys know, it is called the saddlebag. And it is shaped a bit like the side of a saddle on a horse. And that was kind of the theme for their whole show. The women came out with cowboy hats, cowboy boots, sort of like makeshift um like gun holsters around their waists which I think also like resonated with what's going on in the world at the moment so it's a really really big trend and it's one that at first I was a little bit dubious about I thought is this actually going to work is this actually going to be styleable for every day or is it going to be a little bit too comical and you're kind of just going to look like you're off to a hen party but actually there are a few ways that you can incorporate this into your wardrobe the first one I want to bring your attention to is this one down here. This is showing some really, really simple ideas. For example, scarves. Scarves are an excellent way to bring in this trend. Um, I'm not talking about like your woolly scarves. I'm talking about bandana scarves around the neck, around the waist, um, on your wrist, in your hair, attached to a handbag. It's a really simple way to bring in the Western theme. Obviously another really easy one is plaid and check prints. I've recently bought a coat from Zara, which you can see in my previous video, which is a complete plaid print. And this will always come back every autumn winter, but there's new ways of styling it now that will keep in with the Western theme, which I think is really exciting. And then obviously a really obvious one would be boots and anything leather. Um, pretty much that is going to give that look because obviously a lot of horse riders wear leather and boots are a big statement in the autumn winter time anyway. So any boots that you've got that look ever so slightly western, I mean they've got a really good ideas up here. I absolutely love this cowboy boot trend. I honestly thought it was going to be a bit of a joke at the beginning, but the ones that the high street and high end are coming out with are absolutely stunning and I'm really, really into it. Another trend for this upcoming autumn winter is logos. Now this is actually a trend that's been going on for a few seasons now and it is not stopping. In fact, if anything, it's getting more and more so. The main um, designers that we saw do this trend were Fendi and Gucci. Their shows absolutely were covered 
in their logos. Um, you can get bandanas with Gucci on, jumpers, skirts, socks, absolutely covered in the logo. And Fendi went all out. I've got a few of their pieces up here. I absolutely love this campaign. I think this is probably my favourite ever ca uh, Fendi campaign. Um, and this... Um, is their Fendi logo dress, which is absolutely covered head to toe, and then the matching boots with the Fendi logo all over it as well. And even up here, the Fendi bag, the boots, the skirt, all have the plaid check on them, and then the FF is everywhere. And again, with the dress, with the matching boots too. So that is something to keep an eye out for. Anything that is like logo-tastic, basically. Now a few main colours for this upcoming season, the two biggest ones are going to be yellow and blue, which I'm really excited about actually because yellow is something that I haven't dipped into too much before. I find that because I'm very pale it tends to wash me out a little bit, but I'm intrigued to see if I can bring it into some accessories, something that's not going to be too much on my skin that will wash me out. So I'm thinking maybe shoes or bags or any jewellery or things like to put in my hair, maybe bringing the scarves in again as well and like putting the two together. But blues are the one I'm most excited about. I absolutely love this page down here with the blue cowboy boots, again, mixing in the Western theme there. The blue blazer, the blue blazer here as well, I think is absolutely gorgeous. And obviously a really simple one for blue would be denim, just brighter blues on your denim. Um, but another few colours up here, I'm loving this pink with the burgundy boots. Like very very slightly clashing but it kind of works and I love the magenta with the darker browns here and then this outfit's stunning this like uh, turquoise blue oversized jumper dress with a green skirt layered underneath which again will be something that is so easy to style in autumn because layers are essential so I'm thinking oversized jumpers with skirts underneath is going to be a big one on to another colour now that kind of needed its own section in this video and that is beige and obviously you guys know I have been loving beige at the moment and yes it can be a little bit boring if you don't style it properly but if you choose uh, items that are statement items and the beige is going to be forgotten about anyway because the item is such a statement so if, for example this top featured in my last video and it has these really incredible sleeves I'm also wearing like a cream um, denim on the bottom but because these are wide leg um, full length denim jeans with frayed bottoms because they make a bit of a statement the colour kind of doesn't look boring anymore and I've chosen a few of my favourite pages for this trend as well. This one probably being my favourite. This is very, very Jacquemus inspired. And I've been talking a lot about Jacquemus lately, which is a designer that you guys really, really need to look into because he is unbelievable. And he's famous for these skirts and dresses that are very sewing style. And a lot of his collections are like taupes, beiges, nudes, browns, mahogany colours, burgundies. And I'm really loving that at the moment. And that would definitely be a trend that sticks around, I think. Now I'm just going to go over a few extras that didn't really get their own section in the video, but I still wanted to point out. And the first thing was Fila Destructor Trainers. I've seen these everywhere. And in fact, Elle actually did a whole... Um, campaign, well not campaign, editorial with Lara Stone, the model, and in every picture she wore the Fila Destructor trainers. Now when these first came out, they were part of like the dad sneaker trend, which I'm still loving by the way, um, and I still want to get my hands on those Louis Vuitton trainers and the Chanel ones, but I'm, they're both sold out completely and I don't think they'll be restocking them. Uh, but these are a great alternative because obviously they're a lot cheaper, they're £80 compared to the Chanel ones which were like 680 So they're a really, really good alternative. They have a massive platform, a zigzag edge which is really, really cool, a bit like my Senna McCartney brogues. And I just think they're a bit more easier to style as well. But here they're shown in so many different ways. So here is like quite a sporty look. It's got the patterns on, it's got the leather, a little bit western but also incorporating the logo look because this jacket is Mew Mew. And um, over here on the jumpsuit, a bright mustard yellow satin jumpsuit, which could be worn with heels and be an absolutely great evening outfit. But they've paired it with the field of structures, which just gives a really good edge to it. So that's something I definitely want to look into as well. 
Next up, and I think I talk about this every autumn, is jumper dresses. I absolutely love chunky jumper dresses. I think they're so easy to style. You can put them in trainers, boots, flats, heels, anything you want. I think there's such a statement to have in your wardrobe and they're such a staple piece that you really have to invest in. Again, I'm showing this picture again because I just think it's so brilliant. Uh, this oversized jumper with the skirt underneath and chunky trainers on as well. And the other one I wanted to show you was this gorgeous Dior jumper that's been paired with these Y Project uh, knee, well, like hip high, knee high boots. Um, they're super, super long and super layered. But I absolutely love that look as well. And I think this is always going to be something that comes back every autumn, winter. I've got my one from Topshop that I got earlier on in the year, which I could not wait to start with my new Zara boots. Okay guys, that's it for this video. It was super short and sweet, but I hope I gave you a good overlook for what's to come at this autumn. I'm very excited about the trends that will be coming up. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I post every Monday at 6pm. And don't forget to head over to rayofstyle.co.uk, my blog, so you can see what comes up every Friday at 6pm. There's a new blog post on there every week. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!